Hey everyone, this is uh, GamerGuy7 Asus recording another video, continuing my LEGO Harry Potter years 5 to 7 gameplay. Alright, so right now we're on the final chapter of uh, year 5. By the way, this video is being sponsored by MyLikes.com, that's M-Y-L-I-K-E-S.com. It's basically a great way to earn money and to get views and likes on your, on your videos and stuff. I actually upload it through that site instead of YouTube. So you guys can help me out. Please comment, subscribe, and like. Like, hit that like button. I don't know how many times I will uh, talk about that, but please, guys, do that so I can make more videos. All right? Now, this is the part when uh, Umbridge captures them. And they basically, Harry and Hermione are setting her up, trying to lure Grop the giant. To basically abduct her. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this video is very blurry, but don't worry, it gets better tremendously. Like, by the end of this video, it will get exceptionally better, especially tomorrow. Like, like this was that same day I recorded with bad quality on my camera, so, yeah. This is basically the last day of that day I was recording it, so. Afterwards, you start seeing good quality. This was just the first time I ever recorded from a TV. So, you know, you got to worry about the brightness of the TV screen. Also, the brightness of the room you're recording in, the camera quality, and all that's just a lot to take into consideration. But, yeah. All right, just destroyed all of those, uh, I forgot what they're called. Hmm. They're not gnomes. Maybe. Maybe those gnomes that were in uh, the Weasley's borough, the house. Yeah. By the way, I'm not sure if I'll do Lego Harry Potter years 1 to 4. If I do, that will be like several months from now, like around the summer. Because I didn't so much like that one, that game because uh, the gameplay was not 3D, as 3D as this one. But if you guys want me to play that one, I will. Alright. Okay. In case you guys don't see what I'm doing, I'll be describing it here. <clears throat> yeah, Hermione's cat Crookshanks always comes in handy. Yeah. See, that exactly what was what was missing in the first game, because you can't use Crookshanks or Pig Vision to dig up stuff for you. It's just a completely different gameplay, the first one, years one to four. Just collecting all the studs as usual. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do this level over again, I mean. Should have redone it again because of the quality, but oh well. Thankfully, this is the last time you see quality like this. Yeah. Words to the wise, never record from the TV anything lower than 30 frames per second, and never do it in a 240 by 360. I do mine now, like, HD 720 to, uh, I forgot the other one, 720, 540. Or 54480. No, it's 1280 by 720. Yeah, that's HD. If you guys have any questions or like um any like if you want to know any tips cuz you're you're impatient or you can't wait for me like to finish the whole gameplay feel free to ask me and I'll let you guys know I mean like you don't have to wait until I get there <clears throat> Yeah so 
Sometimes the loading screens here can be a drag, especially when you're doing free play. But oh well. By the way, I play all of these levels once again in free play. So, in my opinion, it's much more fun doing this in free play than story mode. Because with free play, I mean, it's just more fun because you can like, do whatever the hell you want and, you know, use different characters to access different things. It's kind of difficult to position Crooks into dig, I don't know why. Got to assemble this bicycle to wake up um, Hagrid's half-brother, Grop the Giant. I'm actually way ahead of um, this level right now. I'm already playing free play mode on a year six. So, yeah. I don't waste time, I mean. And I also uh, came to the conclusion that I won't be posting videos that are longer than maximum 25 minutes. I'm trying to get between 15 to 20 minutes, maximum 25. I'm trying to keep my videos under that time because this is the first time making a playthrough and I don't want to um, or a walkthrough whatever you call it and I don't want to make something that's so long you know not cool boner money four or five six yet so yeah because I mean the longer I make my my videos it will just be too tedious to watch but if they're short under 20 minutes or around 20 minutes then you know it'll be more watchable and I'll also be loading more now so like five to seven videos a week Yeah, I don't know why I was stuck in this part. I was trying to move the damn bicycle. I mean, it's a little glitch in this game. I mean, the giant blocks the way, and there's just no way you can move or turn around the bike. You got to, like, yeah, have the giant turn towards you, and that will kind of involuntarily kick the bicycle to another angle. Yeah, it's weird, but that yeah, works. All right. On bridge. It's inducted by the giant, thank God. If I was Grop, I'd do more than kick her. Away with her, away with her. All right. Fake vision of a serious bike getting tortured by Voldemort. Thanks to Luna, they ride the Thestrals, off they go to London. Back to the Ministry of Magic. They completely skipped that scene, but you know, whatevs. Quality gets better in a couple of seconds. I mean, just wait and see. Yeah, to finally realize what's wrong. All right, this is the finale of the year five game. So right now I'm trying to run away from each tidal wave and all the properties. By the way, before I begin, I'd like to let you guys know that this video is 
is being supported by mylikes.com. That's www.mylikes.com. It's a great way to earn money and to gain subscribers and stuff like that. It's the same thing Kobana Armani 456 is using. So, you know, um, it, it's working for me a little bit. I mean, I just started like less than a week ago. So, if you guys could please uh, hit and mash that like button and comment, subscribe, rate me. Um, I'll also make more and more videos as we go along. So, yeah. All right, so I'm moving along pretty fast. Just have to get to the other side. Yeah, I think this one is filmed in HD and uh, 30 frames per second. As you can see, the graphics are getting kind of better too on my camera. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, this scene kind of reminds me of Lego Indiana Jones when he's running away from the boulder. So... Yeah. So the bad thing is with that game, when you get hit with the boulder or when you die, you start on a new level. Whereas in this one, when you die, you just repeat the same level again. So, yeah. Alright. Time for the first Lego battle here. It's uh, in the death chamber. is holding uh, Harry's friend hostage. But Luna got away. Hmm, all by herself. Alright. It's kind of hard finding these Death Eaters at times because you can't really block, which I wish you could do. You can only block spells when you're doing them, but when you're just like shooting at them, uh, you just have to jump and hope for the best, you know? <laughs> The good thing, you know, you get to respawn automatically in LEGO games without, you know, having to repeat the level again. Alright. Ah. I'm just getting my butt owned. <laughs> Alright, nicely done. I just gotta hit this pillar here with Reducto until it collapses. Alright. Alright, for mining spree. And Death Eater goes bye bye. Alright. I gotta use quick shanks to, to dig a hole in this one which will basically collapse the other pillar here. Yeah. In this case you have to fight this Death Eater, so. Alright. Don't mess with Hermione, she can she can kick ass in this one. So simple. Alright, and you use Luna for this one. Get your Spectre Specs out. Now watch out for that Death Eater because he will shoot you with Reducto as much as he can until he knocks you out. Alright. This one will be a wrap. If I any time play as Luna, it's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like any time I'm playing with Luna, it's like she's so pale and stuff that the character is very bright on the camera. I don't know, the camera does not like her. 
And you can barely see her. She's just like a big bright, big bright light here. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even have to block these Death Eater spells. Like when they shoot, just shoot Reducto right back and they'll just, you know, the, the, the spells just collide with each other and disappear. It depends though. If they have a powerful charged up spell, it'll just go right through yours. Yeah, like that. If it's red or purple or white, it'll go right through. Unless if they also have a charged spell. Then time to get ready for the final battle between Dumbledore and Voldemort. Yeah. Bellatrix backstabs her own cousin, killing him. You know, the deaths in this game are done very uh, humorously, of course, which is a good and bad thing. I mean, good thing because it's a kid game, so, you know, they can't be serious. But kind of bad because even the deaths in the Lego Star Wars, the prequels, were more serious than the, the deaths in Harry Potter. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the deaths in Harry Potter are not even that gruesome. I mean, they could have at least made the characters a little sad instead of them all jokey and stuff. Alright. Time for the team you've all been waiting for. Dumbledore versus Voldemort. Taking so long? Yeah. Wow, what a nice background picture here. Loading picture. than the other ones. I mean, first you start off with a basic uh, wand duel. Yeah. Then once you get Voldemort in a weakened position, you, have, you do a wand clash. You know, like many fans mistaken this for Priori and Cantatum in the books, but in the movie it's actually just when uh, the beams collide, kind of like a lightsaber clash or something like that. Yep, clash again. Uh, Voldemort summons the... Okay, no, they gotta do one more time. Alright, now he summons the giant fiery snake. Or in the book, it's called uh, Fiend Fire. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, this fight scene is very much like the console. You know, got to douse it with water. I like the creative way that Lego does, you know, the the, the the game scenes here, even the dueling scene. I mean, it's not quite like the movie, and that's a good thing, I mean, you know. Alright. Now, of course, Voldemort does his classic, iconic move. Breaks all the windows and glass in the main atrium. By the way, that was the most sickest scene in the movie. That's, for some reason, that was my favorite part of the whole doing thing when he just, like, uses the dark force and all the windows just smash and break. It was also oddly beautiful scene in a way, too. I mean, so, yeah. How could they not put that in the game? <laughs> Take that too. Basically, I'm encasing him in like a watery bubble. 
watching the movie. Yeah. Gotta levitate those stoppers. Mm-hmm. Alright, once you encase him, then his whirlwind stops. Yeah. Throw his ass. Yep. So far we are owning him. Or as you or as he was once called Tom Riddle, we are owning Tom. Alright. Final showdown between Dumbledore and Voldemort. Yeah. Wasn't working. Alright. By the way, a Voldemort's pretty good at blocking his spell, so you know. And he's fast when he blocks him, so you gotta block him quick before you get hurt. But I'm pretty good at blocking. I mean, like, like this part is the longest. I mean, it goes on forever. I blind him by the light. Blinded by the light. Yeah. All right. Come on. He just won't give up. Got him. Oh, actually, one more round. fight feels longer than when I play it by myself. Got you. Yep, we win. And he bows down as if it was a fair fight. In real life, he wanted to kill Dumbledore, not duel him fair and square. Alright. Now I knew there's no way they are going to turn this part into a level when Voldemort gets inside Harry's head. Yeah, that would be impossible. EA Games actually attempted that and that was just awful and embarrassing to watch him play. I mean, this scene is just such an emotional scene in the movie. Don't turn it into a game level. You know, it's... I mean, it's just weird fighting Voldemort out of your mind. I mean... You know... Easier said than done. Yep, his friends are all there, all happy together. This is just like the newspaper montage in the movie, you know, and this is where it ends. It's <laughs> funny seeing here Luna trying to get her shoes, which is referenced to the book and movie, while Grop helps her. Yeah. And the Weezy fireworks. Well guys, that does it for uh, Lego Harry Potter Year 5 to 7, Year 5 gameplay. That's that's it. Um, we just finished Year 5. Um, so uh, I'm about to start on Year 6 very soon. We'll get onwards to that, Half-Blood Prince. By the way, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and also this video is being sponsored by MyLikes.com. So also continue liking my videos, please. I mean, I haven't had that many likes yet. But I'm sure as soon as I get on to, you know, uh, posting more 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 videos, you know, uh, it'll come around. So that that'll be it for for now. Um, have a good day and see you in the uh, next video as we ace some more Lego Harry Potter. All right.